Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to hook this into this. Welcome back, guys. Thank you very much for coming out and checking out the videos. I very much appreciate it. Uh, today, I'm gonna to be talking about how to use a USB mixer or mixing board with your PS4 or your PS3 Please don't forget that anything I talk about in this video can also be used in conjunction with your PS3. So if you don't have a PS4, don't feel left out because you don't have to be. Um, I'm not sure if this works with Xbox or Xbox 360 or Xbox One. I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to stick to PlayStation because that's what I know. But this thing is awesome. It not only lets you put your microphones in here, but it also lets you put audio sources, uh, tablets, computers, cell phones. You can play music, sound effects, change your voice. You can do a bunch of stuff. And this is great to use if you are live streaming. And I know streaming is getting huge. I've been streaming for two and a half years now. I picked up some really cool equipment. Uh, and I think that this is something that people should know about or should be using or they're going to be looking to use something like this in the very near future. And I really do believe that you know, people are either thinking about this right now or have thought about it and maybe were intimidated by it because it has so many knobs and buttons and stuff, you don't want to learn how to use it. But it's very simple and I'm just going to go and show you um, what, you're, what you're able to do when you hook it up and how easy it is to hook it up. Um, so without any further ado, let's do it right now. Let's check it out. Alright guys, here is the USB mixer up close and personal. Lots of dials, lots of knobs. Looks very confusing, but it is not. I'm just going to run through and show you guys a very simplistic way to use this thing. Um, so let's get started. In the back, obviously you're going to plug it in. You have a USB cord in the back. You're going to run the USB cord into your PS3 or PS4. In my case, it is a PS4. That's all you need to do. After that, you are already hooked up. You're going to be hooking up your audio devices into here. Now, you could use one of these, which is a USB mixer, or you could use a USB interface. I like this. This is a lot more versatile, and you can hook a bunch of stuff in here and it's it's pretty dope so first the XLR microphone go to channel 1 and here is your rocker for your volume on all your sound and EQ settings and everything you're gonna need a microphone obviously that's the first thing you're gonna get other than other than this you're gonna get a microphone so once that's done you're basically ready to go you just turn it on And then your PS4 will recognize it as a USB microphone, and you're ready to go. So, if you want to take it to the next level, then we can start focusing on this, okay? This is my PC audio in, this is my TV audio in, and this is the board audio out. Now, because my computer does not have a headphone jack and a microphone jack, I had to buy this USB sound card, which gives me a headphone jack and a mic jack. So, this is obviously the headphone jack. It's sending the audio out of my computer into here, okay? This is another audio in coming from my TV because my TV is a monitor. It doubles as a monitor, sorry, and it has a audio out 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So, that's putting my audio from my TV in. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to hear my TV. You have to put any sound you want to hear has to be going through here if your headphones are plugged in to this mixer. Next is the audio out. This is sending it into my microphone port over here so I can bring in audio from my Skype or Google Hangout, put it into here, and when I speak it to my microphone, it's gonna send the audio through the box out into my PS4 or into my PC so I can have a conversation, and that all this audio is in turn getting tossed into my PS4. Very simple. Again, you talk into here, put all your audio into here, it routes it out of the USB and into the PS4. If there's an audio out like this up here, it will also be put out to another source, like a TV, a monitor, um, speakers, or anything like that. In my case, it is the PC through this USB sound card. So, like I said, once everything's hooked up, you basically just plug it in. Over here is your, basically your levels with a clip light right here. That's gonna tell you when you're overclipping and the audio is a little messed up and it's too high. The thing about this is if you're live streaming, it may be different settings to if you're just recording voiceovers for a video. So try to remember that it's not all the same settings for streaming and for voiceovers and stuff like that. So you may have to tweak the settings each time you're doing something different. But once it's set, 
It is absolutely perfect and it's great. I'm playing sound effects through here, music through here. Um, it's compressing my audio for me through here. It's uh, This has the interface already in it. This is an interface plus it has the mixing capabilities, which is great. I love this thing. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and fucking drop kick that like button. And if you did not like this, then I guess you can go ahead and punch that dislike button. But uh, also, if you do like this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe to the channel. You'll be notified of more content as it comes available on the channel, guys. I will see you next time. Peace out.